Hello folks, this is Broccoli Rob here again. Um, this is not a traditional shepherd's pie, so I guess we'll just call it, uh, um, how about just a meat and potato casserole? I don't know. Chopped meat browned, about six minutes in a little olive oil, salt and pepper. Onions. Carrots and celery. About five minutes. This has got a few different components to it. Uh, this is some mashed potatoes that I already made, which we're going to use. This is some string beans that I already blanched that we're going to use. I just cut them in half. If you want to cut them again, you can cut them again. It's up to you. Alright guys, we're back about five or six minutes with the veggies and the meat. Garlic. But you knew that was coming. About 30 seconds or so. Like I said, these are just string beans that I blanched in some salted water. They're halfway cooked, they're not cooked through. They're going in a pool. That's going to go for about five minutes or so, and we'll be back. Okay, five minutes. Beans. Diced tomatoes. With their juice. You can use crushed. You could use tomato sauce if you wanted to. Alright, the tomatoes are in about five minutes. And we're going to add some cream. Actually, this is milk. And the reason I'm using milk is because my son left about that much in a gallon container. And it's just annoying me sitting in the refrigerator. So that's why I'm using it. But you could use heavy cream. All right, folks, is we're back. I just added a little salt and pepper to this. As you know, stages of flavor. Here's that milk I was telling you about. About three minutes or so. I'm gonna let that cook. And then we are going to assemble this um, spin off of Shepherd's Pot. Let's put it that way. This ground beef and vegetable casserole thing. Alright, see you in a couple of minutes. Alright, so we're back. This is the mashed potatoes I told you that we made. And we just put some on the bottom of this casserole dish. I guess you could call it a potato crust if you wanted to. Whatever. Now all this stuff goes on top of that. And then the remaining mashed potatoes goes on top of that. Cool, huh? I'm working with a handicap here, so... I know, I am a handicap. All right, so now there's all potatoes on top of this. Now, another option. You could put cheddar cheese or any kind of cheese you want grated on top of this and bake it. I'm not putting any cheese on it uh, because I don't want to. But it always cheese is always good. You guys know that. Okay, 350 oven, about half an hour or so. 
We'll take a look at it. We want this to brown up. Everything else is pretty much cooked, but we want this to brown up. And that's when we'll know it's done. See you in about a half hour. Alright guys. I didn't like the way it was looking at a half an hour, so I let it go an extra 15 minutes. So we have it now 45 minutes. I mean, we, we got a nice brown on top. Um, it's, a one, it's a one dish meal, babe. A couple of cocktails and this. <laughs> How can you go wrong? Alright guys, very simple. There it is. Uh, it's a meat and potato casserole, I guess is what it is. Alright, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be looking forward to it. And I'm going to come up with some more neat little things for us to do. But until then, have a good day. See ya!